going on, everybody? Welcome into another edition of IMHO. I'm Kelsey Ray Johnson. Across the screen from me is John Roser. And today, because Roser knows me so well, you know that I loved the 6 and 18 snarl from Tyler Hero. So we're going to talk now about our first team, all swag teams of the NBA. Roser, I would love to hear your picks for this. All right, I'm going to start out with a guy in the NBA Finals. I'm going to go with Jimmy Butler. Um, I'm taking a different angle on swag. I think a lot of people think you think like Devin Booker, how he plays. You think Tyler Hero, that kind of swag. Yeah. I like someone <laughs> like Jimmy Butler. Tough as nails, goes out there and just plays the game, and you are not going to dog him out. Okay, can I... So we said that we probably weren't going to have any crossovers. I'm going to just cross Jimmy Butler off my list. He's the first person Yo, I wrote really, down. You really had Jimmy Butler? I oh love a gosh. Jimmy Butler. Swag on swag. Okay, what's your number two? Uh, I'm going to go with another guy in the NBA Finals, Alex Caruso. Another straight-up dog. Uh, love the way this guy plays the game. It's a different kind of swag he plays with. He ain't try to, He doesn't try to be fancy. Dude goes out there, knows exactly what his role is, play hard defense, try to create some turnovers, wreak some havoc, and he does it. I quit. Alex Caruso. Okay, my number two. Are we just going to go back and forth? I feel like this is a good yeah, way to do it. Yeah, we just go back and forth. Um, my number two is James Harden. Oh, my God. <laughs> See, and this is where I thought you were going to go with with the list. This is what not, I thought you were going to do. So it's do. not a swag thing like, oh, I like the way he dresses, because I don't. It's like what pops in my mind is when he does the interview and he's like, or like when he takes five million dribbles up top and he's just like, boom, I love it. Like, okay, I think my swag right now, Rosa, is like irrational confidence. That's what I like. That's swaggy to me. I don't know if James Harden has irrational confidence. He's pretty good. He makes some... Okay. Deion Waiters has irrational confidence. That's not swag. Um, Fine line. All right. I'll, I'll stay with the Houston Rockets. P.J. Tucker. He actually does have swag off the court. He is known. He's a big mm -hmm. sneakerhead. Mm -hmm. Big, big sneakerhead in the NBA. But again, another just tough, hard-nosed player in the league. Doesn't care about being fancy. Goes out there as a six foot five, six foot six <laughs> center and guards like the tallest guys in the league. That actually is pretty swaggy. To be his size and to be playing the five, I'll give you that. How many guys can do that? All right, my number three, Dame Lillard. I don't like the wave goodbye. I just I feel his swag on the floor. Like he, that's irrational. Not irrational. That was mean. But his confidence is on a million. Okay, I'll give you. Okay, may, this guy may have irrational confidence. Really good player and an all star. But I still think he probably does have some arrest. Kyle Lowry, shout out Canada. You know what? Um, yeah. Yeah. Like I, I think Kyle Lowry goes out there and he doesn't care if he's playing against LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird. He thinks he's the best player out there. I like. I actually really like that pick. That's a good one. That is okay. You're gonna you're gonna hate my last two so much. I have Nick Young listed. He doesn't even play. He's not even in the league. Yeah, but like he's an NBA player. No, he's not. He's just some dude who cheated on Iggy Azalea now. That's all he is. Swaggy P. And, and he's the Swaggy P. And he's the gift of, shooting, of shooting the shot and holding his hands out. And, <laughs> and, and then it misses. Missing. That is that, that is all Nick Young is now. That's swag. <laughs> that is kind of swag. <laughs> uh, my last one uh, on the starting five, Draymond Green. Uh, Nobody, again, has more irrational confidence than Draymond Green. Draymond Green, again, <laughs> not scared of anybody. Draymond Green is the dude, kind of reminds me of Ron Artest. Like, Ron Artest once famously, like, broke Michael Jordan's ribs in a pickup game. I think Draymond Green would do that, too. I, yeah. I actually, I like that pick, too. You didn't go too far off track. My last one, I feel like you're not going to like either, but it's Lou Williams. Yeah, and I mean. There's, there's not a whole lot of explanation. Like, he's good, six man of the year a million times, but I just find him super swaggy. I don't know. It's just like, it's that confidence once again that it's just like, where does that come I from? I mean, like, you got to have a lot of confidence to order chicken wings at a strip club. So He went just for the wings, yeah, Rosa. Yeah, like, that's, that's, that, that is, that is. We <laughs> all have that, to that's eat. Some, that's some swag right there. That's I got swag. A, I have a couple honorable mentions okay. here. Uh, I'll just name all three of them Drew Holiday, Javon Carter, Kimball Walker. Javon Carter surprises me a little bit. I love Javon Carter. Okay. Grizzlies drafted him. Obviously, didn't fit with what how the Grizzlies want to go forward. Traded him to Phoenix, but uh, he earned his, he's earned playing time in Phoenix, and that he's another one of those dudes. He's almost he's almost it's a, he's kind of like an Alex Caruso. Um, where those guys are just going to guard you. They're going to get up in your grill. They know their role. They're not going to try to do more than what they're capable of, and they're going to do it with confidence on the court. Swag. Okay, my honorable mentions are Tyler Hero. I know he's new to the league, but it was a snarl for me. Uh, <laughs> Kyle Kuzma um, and Justin. Why? Because he had yellow hair? 
No, I just find, again, it was like the irrational confidence thing for me. Well, you got to have irrational confidence if you're going to have yellow hair. And like not be good. So, yeah. uh, and then J.R. Smith was my last one, but I even put an X beside it because I was like, oh, is it swaggy or is it like a little bit like... Crazy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a little bit of both. All right, that's all we got. That's our list for our first team all swag in the NBA. Roser, Kelsey, we'll see you guys next week.